लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड जय हिंद दोस्तों आई योर फ्रेंड नमन हम्बली वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस लेक्चर नंबर फोर ऑफ पाँच मिनट में साइंस एंड टेक लेक्चर सीरीज जी हाँ दोस्तों सिर्फ पाँच मिनट पर डे में मैं आपके प्रिलिम्स 2024 में 28 एट टू थर्टी मार्क्स एस्टोर कर सकता हूँ क्योंकि ऑन एन एवरेज साइंस एंड टेक से एवरी ईयर 13 टू 15 क्वेश्चन फॉर श्योर आ रहे हैं जैसे कि मैंने प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स में ऑलरेडी एक ग्राफ के थ्रू आपको बता चुका हूँ सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर अड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट विथ टूडेज लेक्चर एंड आज का टॉपिक है नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिसीज बट आज के टॉपिक स्टार्ट करने से पहले पीपल लेट्स रिविल द क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन यस्टरडेज लेक्चर ऑन स्मॉलर मॉड्यूलर रिएक्टर्स so the question was the function of heavy water in a nuclear reactor is to i have received many of the answers in the comment section which were right so the answer for this particular question is to slow down the speed of neutrons is the role of water in the nuclear reactor basically the main agenda here is to curb the fission reaction by slowing down the speed of neutrons right so that is ultimately aimed at cooling down the reactors by curbing the speed of neutrons all right so this is the answer so let's get started with today's topic that is non communicable disease as you can see on the board the relevance of the topic for pre as well as for mains right so it will it is a part of who non communicable disease and etc which are covered broadly in prelims and also in mains examination so let's get started what is non communicable disease and why it is in news so um, recent ministry of health and family welfare has released a strategic document that is known as operational guidelines for national program for prevention and control of non communicable diseases 2023 to 2030 for management of non communicable diseases as you can see this document in on the board all right so this is a document which was released what are some of the other initiatives that were launched so the other initiative was 75 by 25 initiative what is this particular initiative so this initiative is basically that the 75 million people with hypertension and diabetes to be put on standard care by 2025 all right through the primary health centers it is the largest cover of non communicable diseases in the world for primary health care what is the largest cover basically the hypertension and diabetes so the people with this this two ncds will be covered under the standard care by 2025 the second is sashakt portal what is sashakt portal it is basically launched to train the 40000 primary health care medical officers in order to meet meet the shortage of what the staffs in primary health care centers and to render the effective services this are this is why the ncd is in the news but we now in the news which is relevant for the prelims perspective बट नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड एंड डाइव डीपर इन टू द कॉन्सेप्ट कॉन्सेप्ट समझना बहुत ही ज्यादा जरूरी है फॉर स्कोरिंग गुड मार्क्स इन प्रिलिम्स सो वॉट आर एनसीडीज एनसीडीज आर बेसिकली द क्रॉनिक मेडिकल कंडीशन और डिसीज वॉट इज क्रॉनिक बेसिकली अ डिसीज विच स्टेज फॉर लॉन्गर ड्यूरेशन ऑफ टाइम एंड इट इज नॉट कॉस्ड बाई इन्फेक्सियस एजेंट्स राइट लाइक मॉस्क्यूटोस वैक्टर इलनेस एंड एक्सेट्रा एंड इट इज नॉट ट्रांसमिटेड फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिसीजेस लाइक diabetes and etc cannot be transmitted from person to person what is the prevalence or importance as you can see directly in this particular clipping that 86% remember these facts which can be directly asked in the preliminary examination 86% of death from ncds occur in low and middle income countries like india and south asian countries like so 86% is the significant amount of death that is being caused right 66% of total death in india were caused by ncds what is the amount 66% and what is that number it is basically 60.46 lakh people in our country are uh, die because of ncds that is non communicable diseases right so remember 86% of the total mortality in lower middle income countries are caused by ncds and when we talk specifically about our country that is india 60.46 lakh that is 66% die because of ncds right so what are the major types of ncds so major types of ncds are basically the cardiovascular diseases cvd so what is cardiovascular diseases cardiovascular dis uh, diseases uh, are, are the disorders of the heart and blood vessels including heart attacks and strokes right
sorry active recall is very very important in this particular exam let's try remember this which of the following is non-communicable diseases right so option a is tuberculosis option b is chickenpox option c is measles option d is cancer so post your answer in the comment section i will check and also give you a applause all right so what is global burden for ncds right so whatever data is taken here is directly from who so data can be easily reliable and authentic so world health organization statistics statistics it is the very recent one it says that ncds contribute approximately 74 percent of global death and in this picture it is uh, it is by a think tank known as t20 which says that 75 percent of deaths are due to ncds that is non-communicable diseases so 74 percent of global deaths are caused due to the non-communicable diseases is one of the major burden when we talk about the global health system what is the economic impact the economic impact of ncds will cause a substantial economic loss of 47 trillion dollar by 2030 globally and this is a major chunk of financial loss that we are talking about right 47 trillion dollar by 2030 globally now like if i give if i have to give you a comparison just assume that india is now just a 3.5 trillion economy right and what is the threat the threat is of amount of 47 trillion it is more than 10x it is even more than 15x right 15 times the size of india will be the financial loss that will be caused due to the non-communicable diseases globally right so what are the causes of ncds that is non-communicable diseases so basically the first one is behavioral causes the behavior that we engage in the example is tobacco use unhealthy diet physical inactivity harmful use of alcohol and as you can this particular clipping you can say that almost two-third of non-communicable diseases deaths are caused due to behavioral factors all right like tobacco use harmful use of alcohol unhealthy eating physical inactivity and etc the second one is metabolic what is metabolic factors like elevated blood pressure high cholesterol obesity and etc right these are majorly caused due to higher stress factor right which ultimately leads to higher blood pressure high cholesterol obesity and etc the third one of the third uh, important cause is environmental right so as this time we are talking about air pollution right the situations in delhi is getting worse and worse not only delhi and other major cities as well and delhi is one of the most polluted cities of our world right so air pollution exposure to secondhand or passive smoking these are also one of the leading cause of non-communicable diseases right and the fourth one is genetic basically the the problem or the factor that we inherit from our family so family history of certain diseases that is why it becomes very very important to maintain a healthy lifestyle which will not only ensure a healthy life for us but it will also ensure a healthy life for our future generations right so these are some of the major causes again let's resort back to active recall diseases that spread from one to another are called as post your answers in the comment right the options are communicable disease degenerative disease non-communicable disease none of the above so what are the various initiatives that are taken by the government of India to curve the non-communicable disease? Again, very important because direct question can be asked in the prelims examination related to the initiatives. So the first initiative is National Program for Prevention and Control of Cancer, Diabetes, Cardiovascular and Strokes that is NPC DCS program, right? Why only this particular uh, diseases like cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases and stroke? Because this is a part of major chunk of death that are being caused in our country when we talk about the non-communicable diseases. It is again launched, it was launched in 2010 by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The second initiative that was taken by uh, Ministry of Family, uh, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare is National Action Plan. What this plan is about? So this plan is launched in response to the WHO, that is World Health Organization, Global Action Plan for Prevention and Control of Non-Communicable Diseases 2013 to 2020. In response to this particular initiative of WHO, the India launched National Action Plan what it was aimed at so basically it aimed at reducing the number of global premature death from 
non communicable diseases by 25 percent by 2025 we have a global target of reducing 25 percent of premature deaths that are being caused by non communicable diseases these are some of the active initiatives that are being taken by the ministry of health and family welfare uh, of government of india to curb ncds what are some of the preventive steps that are taken by ministry of health and family welfare the first one is comprehensive primary health care through ayushman bharat health wellness system scheme by promotion of wellness activities and targeted communication at the community level as you can see in this particular portion how through effective communication and transmission of information the specific information can be passed to the remotest part of our country so as to make people aware about the C uh, ncds that are non-communicable diseases right right the second one is healthy diet what this particular preventive step is basically healthy eating is also promoted through food safety and standard authority of india through eat right india movement and this eat right india movement is making a huge impact right uh, in most recent time we are seeing several railway stations which are basically under eat right india movement right so whatever food that we are getting at the railway stations and public places are basically healthy right so this are uh, this is another uh, initiative that is being taken by the ministry of health and family welfare to deal with the problems like obesity cholesterol and etc the third one is physical activity the most pertinent thing is fit india movement right so is implemented by ministry of youth affairs and sports for improving physical activities right so these are some of the preventive steps that are taken by the government of india to deal with the non-communicable diseases what is conclusion so the conclusion is ncds pose a significant global health challenge that we have just seen requiring comprehensive strategies for prevention early detection and management so this is the process you can track here in this particular picture it is about basically uh a uh, 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 prevention through primary health care centers early detection and management then the next step will be collective action right how collective action because government's health care system and individuals must collaborate to effectively address the burden of ncds and without a uh, effective collaboration without an advanced r d the curving of uh, ncds that is non-communicable diseases will be tough for us that is why we need a collective action a collaborative action a cooperative action to tackle the problem a global problem of ncds effectively with this we are done with the lecture guys i'm hoping that you guys are liking this lecture series thank you so much for uh, watching this lecture and if you like this video please ensure to show your love by subscribing and liking and also sharing this video with your close ones keep watching keep striving until next time your host signing off